Hey all, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3. This is a world I've been wanting in uh, Kingdom Hearts for quite a while now, and uh, funnily enough, it's um, actually a sequel to the movie in question. Welcome to Monstropolis, the Monsters, Inc. world, and um, yeah, I think there's going to be a certain new subset of fans for Sora, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm unfortunately extremely painfully aware of what you might be talking about here um but we just have to make do again the trade-off is that we do get monsters inc as a world and like i said um probably one of my favorite worlds period in the game i just think it's just great across the board did you uh did you watch the original film mate how many times did you watch the film we did, wait hang on we did a commentary for it didn't we why am i asking you we did. Also, I had watched it previously um, one day when my ninth grade biology teacher said, I'm not teaching class today. Here is Monster Zinc on the TV. <laughs> and that's what we did. What moral was he expecting you to glean from this, or did he just want to break? Uh, she wanted a break, I think. I really don't know why. Maybe her lesson plan fell through. I don't know. It was years ago. That's how I saw Monster Zinc. And I do like Monster Zinc a lot. I haven't seen Monsters University. I didn't see the point. But I would totally be on board for an actual sequel uh, to Monster Zinc if they decided down the line. That would be cool. Well, I'll get to that later. But uh, the first sign that uh, you know this isn't the original story and they've just adapted that is that there's scaffolding over the scare part in uh, the motto and whatnot. Because at the end of Monster Zinc, they stop using scare energy they collect from children and uh, they start using laughter, which is like ten times more powerful. I'm kind of surprised, really, it took them that long to discover that. I mean, you would think that they would have ex experimented with it much earlier, but there we are. Huh. I wonder why it's only children's energy as well. Is it because it's innocent? They haven't heard any terrible jokes and whatnot? Would adult laughter energy even give you that much power? I'm not sure. Uh, it could probably light up a single bulb. That's about it. Man, though, I was just, like, so happy when I saw that logo and they're doing the animation style for the credits using the doors. I was like, oh, please, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Please let it be good. Please don't let it be Arendelle. <laughs> I was like, please don't make this suck. But they didn't make it suck. It was great. I should probably go ahead and bring up a IMDB because oh, yeah. we're getting directly into the stars of the show here, uh, Mike and Sulu. Obviously, they're not John Goodman and Billy Crystal. I yes, got that right this time, go. right? Okay, good. Just making sure. Uh, again, the invitations aren't that bad. Um, I mean, they had to make do, obviously. Uh, I know the guy who does Sully did a lot of stuff for Disney Infinity, I believe. So there's that. Then with uh, who else shows up later? Like I said, unfortunately... Steve Buscemi is not in this game, that's sad, but we have to make do. Yeah, so let's see here. I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, still scrolling down. You know, why don't I just do this? Sully. Uh, Christopher Swindle voices James B. Sullivan. I actually had a chat with him on Twitter, very nice guy. He was doing a, a giveaway for Kingdom Hearts 3, I believe. And uh, for Mike, we have uh, Carlos... Alas Rakwi. Is that the original voice of Spyro and um, also Rocco? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Carlos has actually had a long tenured history as a voice actor in various Hello. cartoons and games, things like that. So, no, it's cool that he's in this. Yeah, I thought it was Billy West at first, but, eh, you know, I, I guess uh, Carlos and Billy sound a little bit of the same at times. I thought Billy West was the bird uh, in Devil May Cry 5, but he's not, apparently. Oh, um, Griffin. Yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah. This is just archived audio for Boo, by the way. Yeah, just... I, I don't think they're gonna bust out a whole new baby uh, just for this game. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna bust out a baby. It's time to get to voice recording. Ah, oh, this is adorable. These uh, monster character models feature pretty prominently in like uh, the Funko Mystery Minis for Kingdom Hearts 3 and whatnot, and uh, I know this because I'm looking for some to do a, an unopening or an unboxing video on. Don't judge me, okay? I gotta get that bread. I'm judging you a little bit. I think that's only fair. That's fine. By the way, absolute stroke of genius to have the unverse pop up in the world surrounded by emotions and whatnot. Yeah, and it actually ties into the story fairly well. Another actually, and I'll get more into that later actually. First off, let's take care of these guys and then we can get to business. And how come I feel like I might have seen them before? Hmm, maybe I should consult Kingdom Hearts The Story So Far, now available at all good retailers. 
Yeah. Only for PS4, yeah. though. Xbox? No, you don't get that. <laughs> well, it's okay. I'm a Sony brony till I die. That was Those an awful, right. not only an awful this Goofy impersonation, like no but an awful right. standing yeah, about his console biases. <laughs> well, no, that wasn't Goofy. That was Horace Horse Collar. Oh, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> My bad. I got him confused. All right, we got the on Thursday. You guys should know him from Birth by Sleep. Those big snail fuckers could go to hell. I don't like them at all. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. Um, probably the best tactic I found to take care of those is simply to block their attacks. And then that leaves him open to attack. This is Mirage Staff uh, that they just used. Pretty good. Um, like I said, it has the ability to, when it's in its form change, you can roll around and make like illusions, and then they can actually copy your attacks with you. And that's actually really useful. So I actually got a lot of good mileage out of it. It was kind of... I switched it out later on, I believe, for the Ardendale. Arendelle Keyblade, because it had like a sick Wolverine kind of mode, but I probably should have kept Mirage Staff longer, because it is really useful. I'll show it off properly later, I was in a bit of a desperation, uh, striving moment right here, shall we say. It has a really cool finisher though, I like um, just kind of the laser sweep in the whole area. I actually originally thought that was Trinity, but it's not. Got me a bit of counter impact here, gonna equip that, gonna do some oh, counter impacts. Impacts that counter, if you will. Good job, Mike, I'm sure you did something. <laughs> well, he helped. He's the he's the mascot of the group. Yeah, he does what he can. So any idea who those guys were? Still love the fact that Mike was um, no sorry, Sully was the uh, the scare of the month and they always cover up Mike's face and whatnot, but he doesn't care because he's so egotistical. It's great. Um I remember they uh, I, I did see a Twitter post that replicated that it's like, oh my god, I'm in Kingdom Hearts 3. Brilliant. One of my favorite jokes from Monsters Inc. is when um, there's a new um advertisement for the company and you know Mike gets covered up again, but he's like, I'm on TV and then the phone rings and he's like hey, Hey, what's going on? Did you see me? Yeah, I think I look great. And then he passes it to Sony and say, hey, it's your mom. <laughs> Donald, have you fucking looked at yourself? You look like a Disgaea reject. I mean, these guys look more monstrous than the actual monsters from Monsters, Inc., which is weird. I guess so. I mean, look at Sully. He's just designed to sell merch, I guess, and Mike would be a stress ball and whatnot. Oh, you'd really like Unfortunately, uh, Mike and Sully and Randall, obviously, are the only characters that really return to this world, because it is after hours at the office. Um, we are missing out on, like, I forgot the name of the tentacle octopus lady. Like, I, you know, Mike's girlfriend. Um, oh, I'm using my brain! No, 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 I can't remember, but I know who you're talking about. And then there's um, um, Roz, I believe her name, the, uh, the receptionist. Uh, yeah, the secret head of the CID, or whatever. Hello, Wazowski, I'm watching you, always watching. And subscribe to Hellfire Comms. Make sure to subscribe to the Patreon as well for exclusive gifts and bonuses. He's such a fucking cock, I swear to God. <laughs> It's kind of a long story. <laughs> right, here, here's the story of Monsters Inc, just in case you weren't aware, by the way. And we gotta send it back there to keep us safe. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, then. But in a way, the you. real world is more well, monstrous than the magic fantasy trouble. world. So, we want to come along. I, it kind of is, honestly. There's a bit in Monsters University where they actually have to scare adults. We could use a couple of I heard about that, like I said, I didn't see. Monsters University, because I thought it was kind of a kind of a lazy excuse for a, a prequel, a cash grab. Yeah, I, like I said though, I would be totally on board with a sequel that takes place after the original Monsters Inc. That would be great, I think. All right, you're pushing me to it, so I may as well discuss it. First of all, Monsters University is an okay film. It's by the numbers, but it is pretty enjoyable. Uh, there is actually going to be a sequel series coming out in 2020 called Monsters at Work, which will be launching on the Disney Plus service. That's interesting. Um, I really am not keen to doing anything with Disney Plus. I have my various reasons, but no doubt, I'm sure I would be able to consume that media in other ways. <laughs> uh, the premise is six months after the events of Monsters Inc., the city of Monstropolis is now fueled by the sound of laughter. Tyler Tuskmon, a mechanic on the facilities team, dreams of working alongside his idols, Mike and Sully. And we have John Goodman and Billy Crystal back as, uh, you know, um, Sully and Mike. Uh, we have John Rats 
Katzenberg reprising the Yeti. Uh, Celia, that was her name. Celia, voiced by Jennifer Tilly. Uh, Mike's girlfriend, Roz, is back. Uh, we have Tyler Tuskmon, voiced by Ben Feldman. Kelly Marie Tran from Star Wars is in it. Uh, Henry Winkler's in it as Tyler's boss. And uh, yeah, lots of stuff in there. So I'm really happy they managed to get uh, John and uh, Billy back, if just to have that seal of authenticity. Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, I am glad that they, you know, did come back for this. And I would be interested in seeing how that series does play out, so I hope it's good. Yeah. I mean, you'll consume it illegally anyway, so... Well, I wouldn't say that. I just might not consume it at all. You know me and how picky about shit I get. Well, maybe you didn't have a stick on your ass all the time. You'd enjoy life a little bit more. And, uh, I said it. Listen, I've changed my stick recently, okay? It's a new stick up my ass, and I think it's working great. <sighs> Am I going to have to, like, put an 18-plus certificate on this video now? I don't know about this. <laughs> don't worry. Just block it worldwide. Hey, YouTube's safe, you know. <laughs> oh, indeed. Look at all these uh, scare canisters filled to the brim, no doubt, with screams, which is uh, a little bit weird, but I guess they're just using up what excess energy they have. It's not like they can give the screams back to children at this point. Yeah, how can you get rid of scare energy? I guess you can't pollute, you know, pointy atmosphere, because I would hope that Monster Inc. is an environmentally conscious sort of company now. Huh. Well, I don't know, but they could release it into the air. It is just air at the end of the day. It's just screams, essentially. Oh, he's doing the song! So help me! So help me! So monsters and then he'll just repeat that voice clip in the background while uh, Sony gives us some sweet lore here. Now we collect their laughter instead. I suppose it's better, do again, doing it this way. It is an original story, too. Um, you know, for Kingdom Hearts, and not really like a weird retelling uh -huh. of the film, which was very involved. So I'm glad they did not try to retell the film. So I think this works better. There would have to be like a lot caught if they told the whole movie, I think. Because you had like, um, you know, Water Noose and so on in there. Who would make for an interesting interesting Disney boss, but uh, I don't know, I, I prefer like the sequel stuff. I want Kingdom Hearts to put its own spin on the properties. We all know the original stories. It's like telling the story of like Uncle Ben dying again in a Spider-Man movie. We know that. We don't need to see it again. Really, they're just looking for a Starbucks. Not here. Move on. This is a lot more worrying than um, Randall trying to like abduct kids and take screams by force, because the unversed kill, they aim to kill. That's true. That is true. So we do have to worry about that, actually. Go get Boo! It's okay. She'll be fine. There's balloons there. At least five. All right, I'm just going to put you under the desk. Uh, you know where my shotgun is, right? Kitty! Yes, good. We'll just keep it there, and just in case of emergencies. <laughs> Literally, the second you leave. All right. Let's fight with Mike and Sully. It is cool that the Unverse do show up, but like we said earlier, um, you don't really get a lot of Unverse types as a result. They're mostly prominent in this world, and like near the end of the game, some of them will show up again. Still good to have them here. I just wish there was a little bit more variety, but we got just fine. I will say, it's nice to have them back in their original color scheme, because they look fucking hideous in Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I, how did they look in Birth by Sleep Final Mix? Um, I think that the base forms were like purple and whatnot, but I, I feel like blue works for them because like, you have the Heartless, who are like shadowy creatures, they're black and whatnot. You have the Nobodies, who are just, you know, absent, so they're white. And then you have the Unverse, who are blue, and they represent negative emotions. What What's like a, a metaphor, a synonym, whatever the term is, for when you're feeling sad, you're feeling blue, so it just works. Yeah, that does work a lot better. I'm not sure why they did it purple. Now, you're demonstrating what I like to do with the Mirage Staff. It's just easy to surround the area with your uh, Mirages and then just shoot at everything in the middle. It feels really good when you pull it off and do a lot of good damage. Hell yeah. I will say this area is a little bit cramped to fight in, especially with these uh, big old snail motherfuckers bouncing hither and thither. Look, I know they're not snails. I just don't have any of the descriptive for them right now. Yeah, I'm not even sure what they are. Are they like tentacle crabs or uh, beetles? Not really sure. Those words should never be combined into one horrific monstrosity. 
Well, that's probably exactly the kind of thing an Unverse would become. Yeah, especially in the Monsters, Inc. world. Oh, the door system. One of the most ingenious parts of the original uh, film. They basically use this system to uh, travel to kids' closets all over the world, scare them... Uh, and, you know, they don't harm the kids. They just, you know, scare them and take their scream edgy. And then they zip back into the cupboard. And, uh, you know, when you deactivate that connection, the closet is just a closet. Probably run a Resident Evil technology, though. That's the problem. Why is it always going to go back to Monsters... Not Monsters, Inc. Resident Evil with you. See how angry you make me? You make me to tussle my keyboard, so I do. I keep you on your toes. It's important. Grab onto the door when you're ready. There is uh, stuff to find around here, so uh, Mikey, if you'll excuse me for a second, I'm going treasure hunting. Just gonna go loot your company for a little bit, it's alright. There is also a Hin Mickey around here somewhere that uh, might take me a little bit to find. I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I'm just gonna cause havoc in the meantime. Yeah, you guys don't need that, right? It's just scare energy, it's fine. <laughs> it's still useful. We could give it to some orphans. Maybe they need it. Yeah, I take it to one of those other uh, less privileged... Uh, monster countries. I don't know if they've got other, like, continents around here. Oh, that's Let's interesting. Huh, maybe something to address in Monsters at Work. Let's see. I do like how when you can actually, like, you know, there's different areas where you can, like, zoom in and you can see that they've actually taken some time to make some unique, like, posters and diagrams uh, for the world. So you'll see, like, a lot of workplace stuff around here, which I, I thought was a nice little touch. Does this mean Mickey Mouse works at the Scare Factory or the Laugh Factory now? Oh, time to scare some kids! No, I think he just circled all of his appointments. Like, I cannot do this all, alright? I need to delegate this. Yeah, I guess so. Well, if there's any more hidden emblems here or whatever, I don't know where they are. So let's just head on down to the, uh, the door place, I suppose. The door place. That's what we call it uh, upstairs. The door place. Going up. And this shit is dangerous, though. You are just kind of gripping onto a slab of metal here. Uh, well, I've gripped onto worse. I bet you have. <laughs> Shut up, you. Oh, it's him. I just got a great idea. And I was like, yay, Randall's back, because I really did not want to deal with Benitas and shit in this world, because obviously he's around, but it's mostly Randall's jam in this world, which is another contribution to why I like it so much. Yeah, yeah, anything that actually gets the Kingdom Hearts out of Kingdom Hearts is a win in Hell Dragon's book, I guess. Oh, absolutely. I also like how they rendered all of the uh, the door distribution area here, and you can actually run around in it and explore in it. All that stuff's going on in the background. It's a really great set piece um, for kind of encountering enemies in. Um, I'm not sure if I would say it's completely explorable and whatnot. It's pretty much like there's a few platforms you can land on that you're forced to as part of the uh, the linear path here, but um, yeah, this is a pretty neat set piece. I wish there was more of it. Like, you could actually explore the whole place, but that may have been a bit too much of a strain given how much, like, is being rendered here at one time. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't expect to be able to go on, like, every single rail and things like that, but the, the mere fact that you are running around and kind of doing combat within this area looks pretty nice and does give you some good variety. Alright, next stop, here we are. Everyone's always running. Uh, it's uh, tough being the CEO and his helper of a major corporation. It's offline. I'm I'm really just kind of surprised Sora hasn't like snapped his knees by now because he's always landing on hard surfaces. He doesn't have shoes on right now, so. Sora, we gotta make Boo have to open the door. Okay, I can do that. Do you know any good jokes, Eldrin? Um, watch what this guy does when I hit him with a Keyblade five times. Isn't that funny? Uh, he probably is in the hospital now, yeah. I think that's hilarious. I don't know about you. I I'm not sure if Boo's into that kind of, like, subversive black comedy, I'm gonna be honest. She's, like, two. It doesn't really matter at this point, right? Oh, man fall down, he go boom. Yeah, I guess I enjoyed that type of humor when I was a child. Well, for a comparison, my niece is two. 
And if I were to run around bashing cartoon mon monsters in the face, I don't think she would care, because she doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, it's like, oh, Uncle Matt's being as stupid again. Haha, <laughs> this is great. Ah, uh, uh, that kid better not fucking do that when she gets older. I will be pissed. <laughs> I, I will make sure that happens. That's right. <laughs> I'm interfering with your life now, like some kind of young Xehanort. What if you were already doing that? Interesting. Yeah, I haven't met my ghost from the future or whatever the fuck is going on in this goddamn series yet. There we go. Oh, wait, no, we have to kill more. Because I know in some of the fights uh, in this world, you actually have to finish them with, like, their team-up attack. For that, it was like a, a callback to the movie in that way. Ah, but a flare force to perk you up. Look how his color changes. His fur becomes golden. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I mean, obviously at this time we only had the one, the few keyblades we have. But I wonder if it changes even further depending on the ones you have if you come back to this world. Ah, uh, I'm not sure about that. But I know in the uh, the mystery minis thing I was talking about, there are like multiples of Sora in different colors and whatnot. I think there's also a red one. Oh, I see. You're getting a lot of mileage out of the teacups today. Well, you know, teacups in the game, teacups IRL. That's true. I mean, that's basically your power source. For me, it's just, oof, monsters, Pepsi Max. And that's why I don't have a lot of power, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, have you been drinking anything today? You seem a little bit low energy. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I just had a bunch of jelly beans, I had a frosted chocolate donut, I had a granola bar, that's kind of healthy, right? <laughs> that's like ordering an extra large pizza, and then having a Diet Coke to top it off. Yeah, we don't, I don't want to overtrain, so... <laughs> I wonder what Mike and Sully must be thinking when Sora's fighting normally, and then just busts out this godly abomination of a finisher. I mean, considering where they live, this shit is probably more normal than anything. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, Mike, be the bowling ball. Ha, it's a reference. Mike Wazowski! Oh god, my freaking spherical skull. Well, let's hope it's padded for all the rolling around he does. Ha, <sighs> well, we got fire after that, so uh, Mike's health aside, I think we made pretty good out of that situation. Yeah, I can't complain. The door's open! Alright, lads and lasses, we'll see you next time when we continue Monstropolis here in Kingdom Hearts 3. Bye-bye. <laughs>